The main findings of this paper were that women aged 50 to 59 who had had their uterus removed, a hysterectomy, that among those women, not using estrogen had led to an excess mortality. And the excess mortality adds up, if you consider the total population, which is what we did, it adds up to almost 50,000 women. Prior to 2002, 90% of women who had no uterus, remember we're talking very specifically now about women who have no uterus who are in their 50s. And prior to 2002, 90% of those women would have used estrogen therapy for at least five years. Today, the figure is less than 10%. Knowing about that decline in the use of estrogen allowed us to make several different calculations using all of the assumptions. The best point estimates are between 42,200 and 48,800 women have died in the last 10 years between 2002 to 11. None of those women lived to be 70 years old. They were all women at the beginning of the period, aged 50 to 59, who would have used estrogen in the past but did not use it because of fear of taking estrogen, which was unfounded. In the past, 90% of those women would have been using estrogen replacement, and today the percent is less than 10%. What has happened has been an avoidance of the use of estrogen because not of the findings of the Women's Health Initiative, but the way in which they were communicated and understood. And that's the reason for our paper is help to promote a better understanding of what are the beneficial effects, not just what are the detrimental effects of hormone therapy.